good afternoon. Today is 15th of December and uh, I'm doing this video at 12.54 p.m. So around 1 p.m. Uh, today I am going to show you uh, one such, not in full strategy, part of a strategy definitely, uh, in which we are prepared even before the market starts today. It is a old saying, uh, usually that is used in army as such, you know. The more you sweat in peace, the less you bleed in war. What does it mean? It means that you should always be prepared for what is going to happen. If you do your homework correctly, the results that you get in market, they are fantabulous. So let me show you how I proceeded. Everything is on record. I will show you the records also. Okay. So uh, let's go to chart now. Chart and... Uh, sites now okay so today uh we realized at around a nine eight i mean eight minutes past nine today morning that pre-open you can watch this pre-open market it was 21287 so the nearest strike price to this figure is 21300 okay that is why we selected 21,300 for call and put this. And then we went on yesterday's open interest data. 21,300 call, 21,300 put. Whatever is the data, there is one uh, mathematical formula which uh, I have, you know, invented. So applying that. And considering yesterday's prices as well as open interest of 21,300 call and put, I realized that one important figure is the one which I posted on Telegram. So you could see my post. This is 15 December. Today, that is on 15 December, Nifty is likely to open near 21,300. Considering the same important price in 21,300 call and put premium is 107.85. And you could see this message was posted at 9.14, even before the market started, one minute before the market started. So that is what I call by homework. So 107.85. Now let's go on 21,300 chart. And you would see this 107.85. That, that is drawn on call as well as on put. The upper part, the upper chart is of 21,300 call. The lower chart is of 21,300 put. Now, as per this method, we are not supposed to take a trade till the time either call or put comes close to this particular price. So now you wait this, uh, this particular method tries your patience. But market is patience and courage. That's all. Knowledge is secondary. So market should not entice you that till this time, 950, not a single trade was made. We will not make a trade unless call or put reaches this particular level. Now, at 950, put reached at this particular level. You could see the 950 candle closed at 109. Now, we simply do not see the closing price. You will say, okay, this candle has closed means this will go up. No, it's a wrong connotation. See, option price will increase only when there is a sudden and big move. These two things one has to always think in mind. If it grows, if Nifty or Bank Nifty grows gradually, then option price will not increase. Or if it falls gradually, then option price I mean, uh, put will not increase that fast. Sudden, fast and big move. Now, what is exactly the meaning of sudden, fast and big move? I have gone through so many books, attended so many programs. No one has ever specified. I have uh, I mean, uh, defined it in terms of mathematical calculation. Now, see, whenever any candle... Let me take you the candle. See, this candle is there. And suppose open is 81. So if close is more than open plus square root of open, that means 81 
प्लस स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ एटी वन इज नाइन सो एटी वन प्लस नाइन इज नाइंटी सो इफ क्लोज इज ग्रेटर देन नाइंटी द सेम कैंडल क्लोज इज ग्रेटर देन नाइंटी देन वी कैन अप्रीहेंड दैट देर इज अ बिग मूव right then it can be 90.05 also it has to be more than 90 not equal to 90 it should be 90.05 got it open was 81 this is open i am uh, sorry i am not considering a uh, low of the same theek hai open plus square root of open above that the candle should close vice versa whenever a red candle and this should be green candle okay whenever a red candle closes below open minus square root of open suppose open is 100 then 100 minus square root of 100 will be 90 so again that should be less than 90 89 95 will also do so now once price reaches at this particular level see here also that reached okay here also that reached then we will have to see now after reaching this we will have we should see a major candle now after this this was a major candle you see what happened okay but over here let me go first here you see open is 102.20 plus square root of open it will be at least 10 because square of 10 is 100 so the close should be at least 112 which is not now come on this side okay i will just go one side to just show you the calculation now see 123 and square root of 123 will be more than 11 because 11 square is 122 so 123 minus 11 so that comes to 112 the close is not less than 112 okay now when actually what happened after touching this level Put touch this level. Call never touch this level. And then at nine fifty five, we got a big move. Now you just consider put first. So open is hundred and seven point eight five. So hundred and seven point eight five minus square root of hundred and seven point eight five is ninety seven point forty six. And see the close is ninety one sixty five. So here you come across a big and sudden move. downwards means when put is going down call has to go up now let us come to call now see open is 114.15 so 114.15 plus square root of 114.15 and that is 124.83 now close is more than 131.25 you could see this you could also cross verify along with volume along with volume you see the volume it is increased than the previous volume right it is increased than the previous volume and you will see last three candle volume my last video this close is greater than last three close plus volume is bigger than last three we will just see the volume part on put side also and then you will see see again this volume it's 3.07 Which is greater than last three volumes. See, this was also three point zero seven two, and this was three point zero. I mean, roughly the same volume. One side is sufficient. One side that has given a clear bias. Now, volume is of no use. So, position has been made in this favor. Once this candle is closed, you can buy at the beginning. Now, what can be the targets? Simple. I will just go into brief. One zero seven point eight five. The first target will be one zero seven point eight five plus twenty six point one one percent, which is one thirty six. Second target will be the same one zero seven point eight five plus fifty percent, which is around one sixty one seventy seven, and the same was it. And the third target is whatever that is. That will be seventy three point eight nine percent. So. It will be one zero seven point eight five plus seventy three point eight nine percent. That is one eighty seven point fifty four. So you can also look forward to one eighty seven point fifty four. Okay. Now you see the beauty of this particular method. The downward target will also be the same, 
107.85 minus 26.11 percent. And the answer will be 79.69. You just see precisely when it hit target to 50%, this touched the lower target. And see the beauty, it is taking support. All through this time, it is taking support. Now just see, you take a position here, how one could identify whether 136 will be crossed or not. Again, the same principle, open plus square root of open. So now the next candle, when you bought at the beginning of this candle, this candle itself closed above open plus square root of open. So now second target was almost sure that it will hit. So effectively from around 130, see now, now after opening at 130, here the price had gone up to yeah, here. 129.30, so you could have bought it near that, that particular level. And then you see the price we were having all the groundwork done. Okay, it reached Again, it came back. Again, you see uh, on second time at around 10.50, put again came to this particular level. Now, it did not close, but whenever it touched this level, then see what happens afterwards. Now, the next candle, you just see this, you will find 104.30 minus square root of 104.30. So, the answer is, Ninety four point zero eight, and you see the close is ninety one fifty. Similarly, here the open is one one seven point two five plus square root of one one seven point two five one twenty eight point zero seven, and this is the close. Again, it we came to know this will be going up. Now, first target is one thirty six. Now just see near 136, it just lingered and then see here no major candle is made. Just see here the major candle was been made. So now we are either you keep a strong stop loss after closing below 136, I will exit your entry is somewhere near 130. So either you book a profit at around 150 to 22 or you once it goes above this level, you ensure trailing stop profit. I'm not using the term stop loss because you have bought it at 130. And even though the candle closing below 136, you will making small profit, not loss. So the term used is stop profit. And then the next target will be this. Now just see here, this particular candle, the price is closed below the, the target. But this is not going up. It shows a resilience to go. So ideally, one should book profit. So today we got two trades. First, at the beginning of this candle from 132. Let us stick to our targets, 130 to 161. And then next time, say same time around 132, whatever that is. Now, second time, I mean, if you go with the swing and are ready to take a risk, then then. So suppose now even 149, still it's a fairly good profit. So both the times you have scored more than, so considering the profit in trade one, trade two, more than 50% of profit you have made. You can calculate how much capital was required and what is the re return of capital. Okay. So that's all. It is. It was predetermined. We started the work. At 8 minutes past 9, when pre-market closed, from that, we came to know where the Nifty is likely to open. Then we consider the same strike price. Then yesterday's open interest, we did some mathematical part. And then the figure that we arrived was 107.85. Whenever call or put comes to that level, we just see what the big players are doing which way they are creating a position and we are just following them. And then the prescribed levels of profit, which I have mentioned, 26.1150 and 73.89. So that is the uh, trading till now in 21,300 call and put. This is a purely mathematical trading without any indicator. And uh, thanks for watching.
Thank you so much.